Hello everyone, Sons of Duck 2, welcome to another tutorial, this time on Legacy Fabric, but in relation to the Twitch launcher. Now I have covered a video on the actual vanilla and the MultiMC install tutorials, as well as what mods and that were available at the time, which there hasn't been that much since, because most of the developers are making APIs and libraries and sort of getting things still going, or working on the sort of, you know, main things that need to get legacy fabric working and such but uh, yeah I just thought I'd do a twitch one just because I made the uh, following wiki page as well as uh, finally got this working because uh, well it's still the exact same as my old tutorials of doing fabric on twitch um, for the most part I wasn't getting it working at some points but now I am so I thought yeah why not um, obviously if there's an overworld change launches and sure I'll probably try and attempt that but for the most part for those who actually want to use legacy fabric through twitch but obviously are okay with not having exported mod pack support for this specific profile or much else and they're just fine with having it used through twitch because they use twitch often then um, yeah this is pretty much the type of tutorial for that so uh, you will want to have the vanilla sort of set up done already but I'll go over that obviously now so uh, what you want is obviously to use the installer here which if you want a quick access to the file is this one obviously if there's more installers then you can do that but technically this link here just directs you straight to that file anyways because it's the only one for it so far I'm pretty sure so obviously more will appear here or there or whichever um, from there of course once you've got the file you pretty much just where is it uh here i don't have it there i've got it further down somewhere here i think here we go yep i knew i had an extra file somewhere um so let's see here we go so it says 189 this is the build number which obviously there's very few in comparison to say regular fabric the location you want to put it in and you just go install now i've obviously got it so i don't need to do that but uh yeah now to access that, if you don't know where to get it, besides just you know copying the actual address that was in the location part there, um, and especially if say you're not on Windows for example, which is perfectly fine, uh, you can go to resource packs, then go open resource pack folder, and since I'm in the following here to be fine, so we'll go resource packs, dot Minecraft, and then obviously we've got our mods folder here. We can put our legacy fabric mods, and. Uh, yeah, we've got uh, probably versions most likely there, um, which obviously you want to go to the following here, for example, to find that. So you go back out of resource packs to .minecraft and back in, oh sorry, into versions if you can find that folder there. And you obviously want the build that you just installed. So this is probably, I think, the latest version. So I've installed the latest build and this is what you're looking for. So now that obviously you've done that, which is obviously installed at this point, um, obviously that means this version's done, you can just use the game perfectly fine with that launcher, you're good to go. Now with the Twitch additions, technically, that you need to apply, which this tutorial is mostly covering, is uh, you need to obviously have the prior installed, which obviously we've done at this point, and then from there you need to obviously check the versions folder, which we've done. Now, when it comes to actually getting Legacy Fabric to work with Twitch compared to the regular, I'm pretty sure with the regular Fabric you do need the Fabric and the Mix and Dot Out folders because it's supposed to generate those, but uh, when it comes to the Twitch approach it doesn't generate those files so it doesn't have them to pull from. Whilst if you put those folders in their correct position in the install folder, it'll go, yep, I can check these are here, it's fine, I need to generate them move on. Uh, Legacy Fabric doesn't need them so pretty much it just does its own thing so unlike with the prior tutorials where I've had to include this part you can just completely skip that so Legacy Fabric does not have this apply. Uh, next you pretty much just grab your version that you just installed for vanilla and you need to copy the folder and if you see the installs folder for Twitch then that's that which is what we're going to do now. So obviously create a new profile and specifically do not have any forge at all. So just go create custom profile after you've installed Twitch if you haven't done it yet. Or you do and you've got other profiles and that's fine. Just go to I'd say 1.8.9 just because it makes it easier to keep with version consistency. 
of what we're going to be using, and then go none. So specifically remove forge so you don't have conflicts of it going, oh I want to use forge, and it's like no but I don't want to use that, stop doing that sort of logic, because it can happen. Um, so yeah, so once you've created a profile, it will obviously do its thing, you can access it and you're fine. From there you want to go to the open folder part, which is here, and then obviously you can see we've got access to our folder. Now you want to go back out to instances, then back out to Twitch, then into install, then into versions, and then you want to paste your actual build into here, so that's what you want to do. It's not too tricky as long as you know that it's just two folders back, one or two folders forward, and then you know just knowing that you just go to this icon here and that's fine. It's not too bad, but obviously jump loader is a much easier approach, but there is no jump loader for Legacy Fabric yet, so this is the closest you get. Um, but yeah. Uh, other than that, once you've obviously put the build in, you pretty much are good to go. You just launch the game, put your mods in your mods folder, again obviously by accessing the open op folder here, you're at mods, Put your mod in, or whatever other fabric, legacy fabric mods you want to put in, obviously as long as they don't conflict, then uh, yeah, and you'll be good to play. So we'll just close this even though it's an unrelated one anyways, because it was using the multi MC rather than vanilla or Twitch, so it should be fine. And we'll just load this up, and uh, we should be good. So the final thing really to note is that it does say 1.8.9 here, which is fine, but it uh, has to have its versions or build selected often, so it will not stick to the same build that you just obviously installed, because obviously it just it doesn't recognize it. So unlike with Forge, where it's like, yeah, I know this exists, I know it's been checked over, it's exactly what we're looking for, this one does not have a proper installation for it, it's just going, it exists, but I'm not going to direct to it because I'm not exactly proper, it's kind of obviously a you're trying to make it do something that it's not strictly doing the whole oh yeah I'm following the rules sort of approach. This is like a I'm kind of going around it and still accessing stuff sort of method. Um, but yeah you'll find the build pretty much among the 116 range, uh, specifically a bit before 116.2, bit after 116.1, so you'll find it there. Obviously the snapshots are in between, but if you didn't have those then obviously it would be easy to find. Um, but yeah, it pretty much appears among here rather than in 1.8. It's kind of like a earlier than Forge 112, uh, 112 and under Forge sort of thing where it puts everything at like, yeah, down here under release 1.0. It's kind of like that. So best to look in um, certain versions, or I guess technically like regular fabric and new Forge. Technically, if I think about it, um, with putting stuff in early, uh, newer versions, but uh depending on when its release period was, is obviously why it's moved itself up here. So we'll select that, move this here, and then we'll be good to go. But uh, just remember you have to select this often, because it will not stay there. So it's kind of tedious and annoying, but it's the thing that you can do at the moment until a jump loader for Legacy Fabric happens, which could be however much later in the future. Um, but yeah, for now, obviously we've got 1.8.9 Fabric, we can access the world and we can see that surely enough items is there and this is obviously the exact instance or profile that I took a screenshot of so it should be fine. And again obviously the world will load and we've got surely enough items for cheating things in and obviously accessing with the arrow keys to move to other pages as there's no mouse scrolling or anything else yet. And there is only just cheating of items similar to TMI in a way, there's no recipes, there's no other fancy other features, it is just what it is at the moment. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want access to Legacy Fabric through Twitch, that's an option. And uh, yeah, now I haven't actually tried exporting a mod pack yet. Again, it doesn't even tingly detect surely enough items because I think it's either just because it's an off version or it's because it's not other mods that for some reason it's recognizing, I don't know. Usually stuff would show up here, because I think I may have another one somewhere, I think this might be it. Yeah, this is it, yeah, this is the one. Um, but yeah, and you don't also need Fabric API for some of the mods. Some of them you do, some of them you don't, but um, some of them will work definitely without it. But uh, some some may show up, 
But uh, for the most part, if you don't see anything in the list, then just try it or just check your mod list and see if stuff's there. Um, we'll try exporting this, and my guess is it won't actually do anything, but we can try. Yeah, it'll say that, so it'll say it can't do anything because it doesn't understand it. It's like, I don't have the correct such and such version here, or it's because I don't have Forge here, I can't do this, why? So yeah, because there's no Forge or there's no um other than, yeah, because it's like, I need to search for mods or they're not showing up here, so yeah, if I had others, for example, like maybe this one, I guess I could try exporting because it does recognize some of them. But we'll just see. But it'll probably come up with the same message going like, wait, what? This doesn't make sense. There's nothing here. Yeah, it's because there's no instance or no forge or anything there. So yeah, it doesn't understand it. But yeah, you can't export mod packs. But if you just want to use Twitch through here, then you can. Not the best approach, but it's an option for now. Um, obviously, if you want more information, there's a forum page listing the available mods and obviously the other videos or this and the other or there's the discord if you want to ask or we'll keep up to date with what stuff is currently in the works for it again most of it is just libraries and apis at the moment or config related stuff or just the whole core of legacy fabric and such so there's not much more mods yet but if you do want to try these out because you're just curious and you happen to use the twitch launcher you can um yeah, I do have other videos obviously covering the sort of extent of how some of them work or what I could pick up on because some like Chroma HUD were just not something I understood yet um, in that video, but I do now. After talking over the creators or contributors. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and goodbye.